This is the F5C. And yes, this is the best plane you can buy to grind out the US tree to get to that sweet, sweet F14. There are a couple different variants of the F5 in game, but this one is by far the most used. That's because it's a rank 6 premium, which means you can grind out all the way through rank 7 super efficiently. And of course, there's probably more players that play the US more than any other nation in game simply because the F14 is there. That's why like 90% of the games you play above 10.3 are going to be US against US. That's a whole other problem on its own, I've already talked about that pretty extensively, so what about the F5C itself? As I said, the F5C is a rank 6 battle rating 10.3 fighter for the US. It's a premium fighter, which means you can buy it with having literally zero experience whatsoever, which is a contributing factor to how rough this game has become. But the plane itself is actually really good. It accelerates pretty well, top speed's pretty good in a down tier and an up tier not so much, plane pulls hard, it holds speed pretty well above Mach 0.9, which is really useful when you want to run circles around people. Below that speed though, it does tend to lose its energy pretty quickly. It doesn't lose its speed as quick as something like a MiG-21 or any other Delta Wing, but that's kind of a given. And the low speed acceleration is not that great, so staying fast is extremely important. If you can manage to keep yourself above Mach 0.9-ish, you're gonna do really well. In fact, a lot of this background footage you're seeing is me doing just that, just running circles around people, trying to keep my speed above 0.9 Mach. If you're rounding up some premium MiG-21s, eventually they're just going to run out of speed and it'll be easy pickings. It does become difficult though if you throw some MiG-19s in the mix, or some other F5Cs. But of course, like everything, this is situational, so you're not going to be able to do that all the time. In a down tier, it seems pretty reliable, but if you get a full up tier to 11.3, you got to be a little more careful. At that point, everything's going to outperform you. It's going to be a lot harder to win dogfights against F-14s and J-7Es. Luckily, it seems like the majority of the games you're going to get are down tiers because of that premium hellhole that just sucks everything in. But precisely because of the awful matchmaker at 9.3 to 10.3, you're actually going to be one of the best planes in there. And if you're a new player who just picked this plane up not really knowing what to do with it and you're having trouble, this is how you grind the F-14 with this thing. You want to play for targets of opportunity if you can. If you're a newer player, this will make things a lot easier for you. Don't fully 180 on the first person you see because you're probably going to die doing that. Hang around the outside of the fight a little bit and find people who are slow and shoot off your missiles at them. Oh yeah, did I mention this thing has missiles? The F-5C has AIM-9Es, and they're AIM-9Es, they're not that great. They don't pull very well, and you basically can't get a kill on somebody unless they have no idea you're there. Ideally, you want to be shooting these missiles at people who are very slow and not paying attention. They're a little better at high altitudes, but that goes for every missile in the game. If you want to do really well on this thing, stay fast, keep your head on the swivel at all times, use those flares if you need to, and try to keep your speed as close to Mach 1 as you can. When I was getting footage for this thing, I actually had one of the best games I've had in a long time. I ended up getting 9 kills total and had to clutch up 1v7. And I will show you that game now. So starting off this game, I was maybe perhaps a little bit AFK, so I'm entering the battle a little bit late, which is cool because it's going to work out. Given where I'm at, target selection is going to be a breeze and I can kind of just go after anybody who's distracted. And the first target I see that's distracted is this MiG-21. He's currently shooting at our AI planes, which basically means I can just shoot an A9E at him and then forget about it. So that's exactly what I'm going to do. I start pulling off before it even hits him because I know he's not paying attention. So that's my first kill. I look behind me and see my whole team's getting wrecked, so I don't really have that much hope for the game, but there's also another MiG-21 in front of me who is distracted. So just like I did at the first guy, I'm going to fire off another A9E. Since he's distracted, he's not going to flare it, he's not going to maneuver, so that's going to be another kill. Now I've got an SC-25 and two MiG-21s trying to kill my two teammates. So that's where I'm headed. Two of them turn towards me, I take shots at the MiG-21, set my eyes on the SC-25, take a couple shots there, get some hits but no damage really, and now I turn towards this MiG-21 who should be an easy kill, but I'm going to absolutely scuff my aim. I am continuing to be an aimer. Doesn't matter though because I'm still going really fast, so neither this MiG-21 or this SC-25 are going to be able to do anything to me as long as I'm paying attention. SC-25 fires off an R60M, but one flare will solve that. MiG-21 also shot a missile, but he's way too far anyway. So now I'm just going to continue to fly straight, putting some distance between the MiG-21 and the SU-25 while simultaneously gaining on the MiG-21 in front of me. An F-4C shows up on the right of me, but he's going to be turning, so he's going to be slow, and I have all the speed in the world still. F-4C shoots off a 9E, but that's no issue. Drop a flare, but I don't even really need to do that. F-4C for some reason shoots another 9E, like it's going to make a difference. And now I'm going to do something I don't get to do very often. Use the terrain. While I'm doing that, I'm also going to be keeping my speed above Mach 0.9 this whole time, like I brought up earlier. The only other person I'm really actually worried about in this situation is the other F5C that's around. As you can see, the F4C just took some shots at me, but a little roll out of the way is going to make that no issue. The other F5C shows up, and so does the SC25. 
F5C took some shots as well, but that's not going to be hard to dodge. And both the SC-25 and the F5C are going to have to go a full 180 degrees to get on my tail. So that alone is going to take away a lot of their speed. Now I want you to keep paying attention to my Mach speed. If you would look, unless I go vertical, I'm keeping it above Mach 0.9 at all times. Optimistically, I'd like to keep it around 0 0.93, 0 0.95. So all I'm doing now is keeping my speed high, keeping these turns tight with the mountain, while every single one of these people behind me starts losing all their speed. Still just trying to keep as low to the ground as possible, flying in between these little hills in the mountain. A, because it's really fun, and B, because they can't shoot me. As I once again get to this side of the mountain, I realize two of them have tried to cut inside my turn. This gives me the signal that they've probably lost a lot of speed and realize they're not going to keep up with me going around the mountain. I also notice the F5C behind me, I am pulling away from him very quickly, so I'm not even worried about him anymore. Just going to turn around this mountain one more time, keep my speed high, continue to keep it low to the ground. And now that I notice this F4C trying to cut into my turn one more time, I'm actually going to take this vertical because at this point I'm pretty confident I can take all of them vertical and not have any issues with them shooting me. As I hoped, neither of them were going to be able to catch me at all, and the SC-25, I guess he got bored or ran low on fuel or something because he went back to base. So now I've got both these guys at low speed below me while they're still committed, so they're both in a complete trap. Notice that both of them stopped trying to climb up to me, so I put my nose down. F5C pulls off realizing what's happening and runs over to his teammate, which is completely understandable. F4C looks like he's trying to run away, but he's way too slow and he's not going to have time to accelerate to outrun me. He's still slow, he's not going to have enough speed to properly maneuver out of the way, so I'm just going to fire off a couple bursts and that's going to take off his wing. Oh yeah, and by the way, that was my first kill in a 1v7. At this point, I'm the last one alive, and I have been for a minute now. At this point, I'm still not expecting to win. I was expecting the timer to run out or just to be killed by a swarm of all of them, but luckily they're kind of separated, so I'm sort of able to take it one fight at a time. F5C from earlier tries to full commit ahead on. He doesn't take any shots until I've already shot and pulled off, and I'm going to land a crit on him. And now I look over at my fuel and realize I only have about two and a half minutes left, so I should probably RTB. However, I know an A-10 is hitting our ground target, so I'm going to see if I can kill him on the way back. He tries to flare my bullets. Interesting. I miss the shots, though, so I'm going to put my nose back up to see if I can get over on top of him. Luckily, he doesn't seem to care that I'm shooting at him, so I'm going to put some easy shots to him, and that's going to be another kill. And now I will continue to try and make it back to base. I've realized at this point I've kind of messed up, and now I don't have much fuel at all. I get very, very lucky here that the F5C and MiG-21 behind me don't catch all the way up. I run out of fuel on the way there, but luckily they don't realize this and pull off right as I run out of fuel. Luckily, neither of them realize I can just go above the airfield and come down and kill me. Once I landed at the airfield, I actually elected to take 30 minutes of fuel just in case I get in a really long, drawn-out dogfight, because that does tend to happen every once in a while. Anyway, as I'm getting up in the air, I notice the SU-25 flying way above me and my airfield not seeing me, which is very nice. Not like the SC-25 would be a huge issue, but still, it's kind of nice to go unnoticed. And now I know a MiG-21 is ground pounding, so that should be easy pickings as long as he doesn't notice me. Which turns out he's not going to at all. So that's another point and click kill with the AIM-9E. And then, oh, look at that, another MiG-21 who's ground pounding who doesn't seem to care that his buddy just got killed. While he's too concerned about killing our ground targets and getting that sweet, sweet research points, it's going to get him killed because I shoot off another AIM-9E. Isn't that wild? I killed four distracted MiG-21s in a single game with AIM-9Es. I feel like that shouldn't happen. <laughs> but that's cool with me. That's kills five and six right there. Once those two guys are dead, I notice the MiG-21 above me into my right. I'm going to try and play a bit defensively. Once he's behind me, though, he shoots a missile and it didn't render till it was halfway to me. So I got lucky that it wasn't a fully invisible missile and flare just in time. I look down to see where I'm at and oh look at that, more terrain I can use. Doing this mainly because of that other SU-25 that was around, hopefully he kind of loses track of me and of course doing this and keeping my speed high like earlier, I'll be able to bleed that MiG-21 speed pretty quickly. He shoots another missile at me but that's going to be a non-issue because I have a flare and now I'm going to turn back into these mountains. I'm assuming the MiG-21 was either low on fuel or realized this was a losing fight because it looks like he ran back to his base. So now I got to deal with this SU-25 which again Again, will not be an issue. I've still got plenty of speed, I'm faster than him, so I'm just going to put it up into a bit of a spiral. Just got to keep my eye on him in case he shoots off a missile, which he does. Keep going up, keep turning. He's going to shoot off another missile, which again, non-issue, have a flare. He realizes this is a losing battle as well, so he tries to dive out of it. Whether or not he continued to follow me through that climb, he's not going to live either way. Since I know it's just me and him around right now, I'm going to drop my throttle, pop my air brake, and just sit behind him. Take some poorly placed shots. Take a couple more shots, set him on fire, and that's going to take him out. Take a few more just to see if I can secure the kill, but there's no real point anyway, so I just pull away. Eventually, he does go down, making that my seventh kill. Start flying towards the center of the map, and then I notice the F5C that I crit earlier went back and landed and got back up. We start flying towards each other, and it's basically a duel now. Hoping this will be a fun little fight because the MiG-21 is no longer around, assuming he's probably at the base right now. I start diving below him because if he does try and get a shot off going straight down on top of me, he would crash into the ground. He realizes this after he tries to take a shot and then pulls up. 
And now as we both go up, I'm below him, so I'm going to be in the perfect position. Just going to try and line up a shot if I can. Unfortunately, when I get the chance, I miss, but that's fine. I'm still going to be 100% behind him, so it's going to take some magic on his part to win this. He puts himself in front of my guns once again, but unfortunately, I'm not an aimer today. Right after that, though, it looks like he cut his throttle and he might have popped his air brake, but I couldn't tell. Even with him doing that, I can just do the same thing and it's not going to be a problem. He pops in front of my guns once again, and I'm actually going to hit this time. He tries to dive away and get away from me, but he's pretty crippled, and I'm pretty sure he had his eye on me. So once he realized he was getting too close to the ground, it was too late, and he ends up eating dirt. So that's going to be my eighth kill. Now all that's left is the MiG-21. I'm very okay with this because fighting a MiG-21 and an F5C is pretty easy for the most part. Unless, of course, they just run away, which does happen every now and then because you can't catch a MiG-21. Anyway, I've got a good chunk of fuel left, so I ended up heading over to his base. Once I get kind of closer and I couldn't see him, I hit a blind hunt. Realize he's behind me and below me and he sees me. Luckily I'm at plenty of altitude so this is no problem. Really the only thing I'm hoping now is that he doesn't run back to his base and camp his airfield because that would make me unbelievably angry. So in an attempt to keep that from happening I start flying away from their airfield hoping he'll just follow me out for a bit. Once I feel I have him far enough away from his airfield that the airfield AA won't shoot me down I turn back to try and get a fight going. Take a quick head on, hopefully I can end it there, unfortunately I don't. I start to take it downwards because I prefer to fight at lower altitudes with this thing. Don't ask me why because honestly I couldn't tell you. Just like all the fights from earlier, I'm going to try and keep my speed as high as I can because a MiG-21 turning at high speed is going to bleed all that speed, I'm going to hold it. Even as we were both diving down and turning at the same time, that MiG-21 was probably losing speed as you'll see right now. I'm beginning to pull away from him pretty quickly. I realize he's not going to be able to get the turn in on me so I'm just going to start circling above him. Once he realizes I have the full advantage here, he puts his nose straight back towards his airfield. I start pursuing because for now I'm catching him but as soon as he gets straight and holds straight he's going to pull away from me pretty quickly. Luckily I am still able to catch up to him so I put some shots in him from pretty far away which then he kind of panics and turns. Get a crit on him, shoot off his left aileron which is pretty much crippling him. He's not going to be able to fight anymore after that because he's pretty much crippled. At least when it comes to maneuverability and dogfighting. He's very slow now, so I'm just going to loop under him and try and get some more shots off. Though being a MiG-21, he's got a lot of engine power, so he was picking up speed pretty quickly, and I was kind of scared that he would actually make it back to base. I actually thought he was going to make it back to his base and I was going to have to pull away. But I shoot some shots, hoping he'll panic. And luckily, that's exactly what he does, so he just starts rolling all over the place. Which is going to seal his fate. A, he goes into a flat spin, and B, I catch right up to him and put some more shots in him to finish him off. So that's my ninth kill to win the game in the F5C. I'll be honest, most of that game really shouldn't have gone my way because of how many other people were alive and around. I did get pretty lucky that most of those engagements were one on one except for like one or two. Because one on one the F5C kind of collapsed. So if you don't have the F5C already, you're probably wondering, should you buy the F5C? If you're trying to grind all the way through rank 7 US, yeah you should probably buy the F5C if you're looking to buy a premium. The plane is awesome and I had a lot of fun flying it. I imagine if I personally had to grind out the US tree, this is the plane I would 100% use. Alright, before I wrap things up, I did just launch a Patreon page, so if you do feel like supporting me, that's the place to do it. If you don't, that's fine too, because I'm still going to be posting all my videos here. All of you people watching my videos, that's already mind-blowing enough for me, so thank you. Alright, that's going to be it for me today. I'll see you guys next time. Peace.